Good fucking morning, God damn it! This video was brought to you by Smooth Brain, the Brainlet Association. I just did an entire voiceover of this track and I didn't hit record. Big Smooth Brain energy. This is the bench session from last night, so I walked into the gym. It was empty. I don't know if everyone's on holiday at the minute, or like the normal kind of four to five crew are on holiday, or I'm poor now. Not entirely sure, but decided again I would take advantage of it. So closed up, went to the shop, got a monster and a water, and then did my workout. So this workout was about 45, 50 minutes in length. It was a fairly decent workout. Shoulder-wise, wasn't the best workout. So the reasons I think for that, I didn't do my normal shoulder strength, rotator strength work before the squat session on Monday. So I think that didn't help. I also am using heavier loads uh, for the eight, so I think that probably loaded it a little bit more. And I'm also throwing the ball for the dog more than normal, so that obviously loads the shoulder as well. So that's my little three excuses three excuses as to why I think the shoulder wasn't feeling too good this session. Just did the session as written, right, no issues with that. Um, this 160 didn't feel amazing, but watching the video, it moved pretty much how I would assume 160 would move, so kind of what I'm trying to do with my bench press, I'm trying to hold at the top for three before I start the lift and at the end hold for three just so I get used to loading that position because I think that's the position where most of the loading or the or the problems come from. Certainly that's where when the shoulder was bad, that's where the pain was occurring, was occurring on the rack, on the on rack and, and, and holding the bar. So the first set was fine, uh, it felt grand. Felt like I maybe lacked a wee bit of power on the left hand side, but it's certainly the bar speed's fine. The second set uh, was probably the worst set in how it felt on the shoulder. So this set, I wasn't as strict with what I was doing. I mean, you probably can't see it watching the video, but I was a little bit more lax, trying to focus more on the outcome of going A to B, getting speed on the bar off the chest. I wasn't really holding quite the same tension at the bottom. And I definitely felt that set the most through the shoulder. On the third set, I tried to be more controlled. I tried to be a bit stricter, took a small pause on the chest, controlled it down a wee bit more. And that was definitely the the set that felt the best on the shoulder. That pro I probably didn't feel anything through the shoulder on this set. So I think being stricter, obviously it kind of reduced the force a little bit because the acceleration is a little bit reduced if you're controlling the eccentric a bit more so that's going to have less of a force uh, effect that you're dealing with so that's probably going to reduce the demand on the shoulder but that was something that was definitely useful so something i need to be as it gets heavier and the want to kind of push the bar fast and as the want to kind of dominate the weight as it were and get a bit sloppy becomes apparent i need to just kind of get in my box a little bit and just control it on overhead press, three sets of 10 on 60. This was relatively challenging. This was getting towards like an eight, nine. Uh, probably not more, not less for the load and more for just the rotator cuffs fucked by this stage because I've done my rotator cuff strength work, I've done bench press and I'm doing tens on this and I'm deliberately taking less rest. So I doubt I will increase the load next week on that or next session, I'll probably, I'll probably do in the next bench session at the garage, so I won't be doing standing press, so I'll have to bring the load down anyway, so I'll probably go 45, 50 on the kneeling variation. Pull up, felt fine, again, like I said beforehand, it's pretty good screen for my shoulder if I can come to a full ROM on the way down, complete the reps, more or less pain free, and that's what I did, so did set a 4, 4, 3, so that's alright. I can't really be as good with keeping a rep in the tank with body weight because the intensity is a lot harder. So I'm trying to like not go to failure. So I'm just I'm taking it to like an RP nine ten on those, uh, but not taking that potential ten rep. So if I think I'm if I think I'm not gonna get if there's a chance that I'm not gonna get the next rep, I'm not taking it. And then functional dad training, doing the curls. Uh, these felt grand the curls. Who cares? Uh, but they've been really helping the, with the elbow, and I think they've actually been helping my shoulder potentially as well. Maybe reaching with that, who knows? But that's that. That's the session done. That's the voiceover done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, Arveda saying good night. Goodbye.
like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. Because of fuck. Bye.